Thank you for joining us today for this three-part webinar where we will dive into anything and everything you'll need to know about the new BioFinity Toric multifocal contact lenses from CooperVision. So let's dive in. I'm Steve Rosinski, an optometrist and senior manager, North American Professional and Academic Affairs at CooperVision. I will be your host throughout this three-part webinar. We are excited to announce that BioFinity Torque multifocal lenses are now available to every eye care practitioner throughout the U.S. as of May 18, 2020. We realize with the current challenge surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic that your office may be closed or just starting to reopen. However, we wanted to continue with our launch plans to ensure that this product is available for when you start seeing patients again. In the first section of this webinar, we talked with Dr. Lee Hall from CooperVision's R&D team to get a look at behind the scenes of the development of BioFinity Toric Multifocal and learn more about the technology that powers the lens. The second section is all about fitting the lens. In this section, we will talk about how BioFinity Toric Multifocal changes the landscape for fitting these traditionally more difficult to fit lenses. We will dive into fitting tips and walk you through fitting guides so that you are set up for success. And lastly, we will be talking to some of your peers about their experiences with BioFinity Toric Multifocal to this point and how the lens will fit within their practice. All right, so let's get started into chapter two. Here we will focus on how BioFinity Toric Multifocal has changed the game when it comes to fitting these traditionally tricky lenses. We just got done covering the impressive range of BioFinity Toric Multifocal in part one, but now we're going to dive into the performance and give you tips to successfully fit the lens. Initial phase success is impressive with BioFinity Toric Multifocal. Practitioners saw a 90 3% fitting success rate on initial fitting when they use the Cooper Vision fitting guide. We know how important chair time is, especially with toric multifocal patients. Now you have a lens and a fitting process that will help reduce chair time. In the following slides, we are going to walk you through the fitting guide to ensure you are comfortable fitting the lens. If you follow these steps and tips, we're confident you will have initial fitting success as well. To maximize success of initial lens fitting, make sure to utilize the most up-to-date spectacle refraction. Prescribe maximum plus power for distance vision. Do not over minus. Make sure to determine ocular dominance. It is important to the success of fitting this lens. Ocular dominance can be determined in many ways, including but not limited to blur testing with a single plus 150 or plus two spectacle trial lens, or sighting camera method. In the next step, use either the Opti Expert app to establish initial trial contact lens order or continue utilizing the fitting guide. If not using Opti Expert, determine the sphere and cylinder power and axis rounding to the nearest five degrees. If necessary, correct for back vertex distance when ordering. Step three is an optional step. Since many offices already have a BioFinity Toric fit set and the BioFinity Toric multifocal is equivalent to BioFinity Toric for stabilization and orientation, an ECP can have increased confidence in the fit and axis needed when ordering BioFinity Toric multifocal by using the trial fit set from BioFinity Toric. An ECP can assess orientation using the BioFinity Toric fit set and adjust the initial lens ordered for BioFinity Toric Multifocal. Adjusting for minimal rotation in BioFinity Toric Multifocal is available as it can be oriented in ordered in five degree increments. For the final step, use this table above to determine the add power. Do not overprescribe the add power. In addition, you will see with a spectacle add of plus 1.75 or less order both D lenses. 
Based on the steps above, you should now order the trial contact lens. Once the initial trial lens is ordered, an ECP should expect delivery of trials within seven business days. Once the ordered trial has been in inserted into the patient's eye, allow the patient to adapt to the contact lens for a minimum of 15 minutes. Once the patient has had time to adapt, assess the toric orientation and lens fit. Remember that 89% of biofinity toric multifocal contact lenses are within 10 degrees of the desired orientation position. Use the LARS method to adjust axis as with a traditional toric contact lens fit. Next check patient's vision binocularly with room lights on. Assess near vision with their handheld device or other reading materials. Assess distance vision in surrounding environment under normal lighting conditions. Patients may take up to several weeks to adapt to their new lenses. Now is a good time to manage patient expectations. If patients need an improvement in distance vision, add plus minus a quarter to the eye that results in the greatest improvement in vision. And that will most likely be the dominant eye. Adjust contact lens distance sphere power from that. If patient needs an improvement in near vision, add plus minus a quarter to the eye that results in the greatest improvement in vision, most likely the non-dominant eye. Adjust the contact lens sphere power without changing the add power. If patient is 20, 30 or better at distance, the patient should return in one week or later. At this point, determine if you need to order a new trial lens. The next step is optional. If further enhancement to distance or near visual acuity is needed, first check patient's vision binocularly with room lights on. Perform over-refraction using handheld trial lenses. Avoid using the four-octer. If need to improve distance or near, modify prescription by plus minus a quarter in the eye that needs improvement. If the first option does not improve near vision, add plus 50 to the add power of the eye that needs improvement. For example, a patient who is in a lens with an add of plus 2N lens, to improve near vision, order a plus 250N lens. As I mentioned before, biofinity toric multifocal will also be included in Cooper Vision's Opti Expert fitting app. The app will be relaunching soon with an updated look and feel. This app will help you correct for back vertex distance and convert the full spectacle prescription into recommended trial contact lenses. It ultimately cuts the fitting process down to three easy steps. Lastly, I want to outline some additional fitting tips to keep in mind when fitting biofinity toric multifocal. Use OptiExpert to determine trial lens prescription and cut down half the fitting steps. Always fit off up-to-date spectacle prescription. Prescribe maximum plus power for distance vision do not over minus. Choose the lowest add power when possible. Do not over prescribe the add power. Use the biofinity toric multifocal fitting guide only for this lens. And check patient's vision binocularly with the room lights on. Assessing near vision with their handheld device or assessing distance vision in surrounding environment under normal lighting conditions. So that's all we have here for chapter two. Thank you so much for listening on how to fit this lens. We have one more chapter where we will talk to some of your peers about their experience with biofinity toric multifocal. As I said before, biofinity toric multifocal is now available to all practitioners in the US and we can't wait to hear your feedback. Please continue on to the last chapter, but if you are unable to at this time, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.